Oh, we've got another email. And this email is from a man named Hector. And this email reads, good morning, Brother Keith. I emailed you because I need some advice on a family issue I'm having with my younger brother. I have been saved now. I have been saved now for eight months. But before I was a Christian, I sold drugs. I have since removed myself from my old friends. But my younger brother is someone that I really can't avoid. We were basically partners in crime and now are at odds with each other. He has asked me to do him one more favor before he leaves me alone for good so that, as he puts it, I can be a good little Christian. I can't exactly say what he wants me to do, but it is illegal and I could get in trouble if I'm caught. I didn't think that it would be this hard to be a Christian, but it is. And it's because I'm surrounded by all the people I used to sin with. Can you give me any advice here? Much appreciated. So thank you, Hector, for your email. And the first thing I'd like to make clear right off the gate is that whatever your brother wants you to do, you don't do it. OK, and you make it clear that you aren't going to do it. I don't care if it's your brother. I don't care if it's your mom or your dad. You don't do it. Not if it's illegal. OK, so I take it that you're worried about what would happen, what will happen to your relationship with your brother if you don't do what he's asking you to do. And my advice to you is to first man up, fear God, and then to seek God's will rather than your brother's. So I want you to think about this. OK, what's one of the things that the Lord came to bring here on earth? Let's look at Luke 12, Luke 12, 51. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on in one house, there will be five divided, three against two and two against three. They will be divided. That word divided is important, divided. Father against son and son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Okay, and with that being said, welcome to Christianity. It is indeed hard, but it's a good hard because its end is glorious. Now, my advice to you is this. Amongst your immediate family, you need to make it known that you are a Christian, okay, and that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. It's important that this is known, okay? And now, the reason why it's important is because this is the time for you to stand out, okay? And every Christian, I don't care what you say, this is supposed, this is going to happen in the life of every new convert, okay? This is going to be your time that you stand out within your family. Okay, and you do it for Christ's sake. You want your family members to say this. Look at him. He, he's weird. Why is he all about this about God and this Christianity crap? It's not that serious. He needs to lighten up. What's wrong with him? <laughs> that's the, I mean, that's how you want them to see you. That's how you want them to respond. That's going that's going to be the obvious response from your family as they, as they begin to notice your change. Okay, because I promise you, okay, this is how your family will begin to feel when they begin to notice the change in your life. OK, I remember the first time that I got saved that first year, I was so on fire for God. And, and for the most part, it was it was zeal without knowledge, but it was passion. OK, and I remember I began texting. I began waking up early in the morning and I was texting my, my sister and my mom Bible verses every morning. OK, and I remember after about three or four days of doing this, my dad reached out to me and he just he, he went into me. He angrily made it clear that, listen, you you better stop doing that. You're bothering your sister. She doesn't like it. Stop doing that. What are you doing? Okay. Wake up. Stop doing what you're doing. And I, I was hurt. But at the same time, it was glorious because I realized I wasn't like them anymore. Okay. I wasn't a part of the pack anymore. I had been divided. I was outside the pack. Okay. And so even though, even though the way I was going about it may have been not been right or wise, I was different. OK. And my family knew that there was something different about me. And I knew that behind the scenes, they were talking about me. Something strange. What's going on with this boy? OK. It was weird. But that's what you want. That's exactly what you want, because it reveals that God has really done something in you. OK. You are now the new man. You're no longer the old man. OK. And that's exactly what you need to be. And I'll end with this. If you tell me that you've been a Christian for two or three, four or five years, however many years, and your family doesn't know it, you're a liar. And part of maturing in faith and maturing is in Christ is going from that person who, as a new believer, always finds a way not to rock the boat, always finds a way to continue to fit in with your friends, to continue to advance on the job, to continue to be accepted by those around you and your family and your extended family by compromising what you know to be true. 
And as we mature as Christians, we understand that that compromise costs us everything and benefits us none. So a very interesting thing happens. All of a sudden, as we mature in faith and as we grow in grace, we can often find ourselves at odds with more and more people. And the church becomes more and more important to you because you come to realize that because of this transformation that takes place and the renewing of your mind that takes place, because of that, there are people in the church of our Lord Jesus Christ who are actually closer to you than blood relatives. Oftentimes we find ourselves in a situation where there are very few of our blood relatives with whom we see eye to eye and more and more of our brothers and sisters in Christ who have become like bone of our bone and flesh of our flesh. This is because of the transformation of our worldview.